So let me bring up our test window seven. So first we're gonna deal with peep authentication. And here on our test machine, we are going to create a wireless profile. So let's delete what we have here and then create from scratch. So add, manually create profile. The SSID is lm-internal. They want it to connect automatically. And security type is gonna be WPA2 Enterprise. Next, and then we can change the settings. For security, we say we want to use PEEP. And we would like to trust our root certificate with the authentication of MS Chat V2 and automatically use the Windows login credential. Okay, for advanced settings, we want to specify authentication mode and we want to authenticate both user and computer. Click OK. Then OK, then close. And immediately we get a little popped up here and said authentication fail, the Windows could not connect. So let's go over to our monitoring and reports and see if we can see why. All right, you can see right here, authenticated it just came from the wise LAN controller with PEEP. We'll click on detail, see it was failed because the authorization profile is access denied. It came in as uh, PEEP and with MS chat V2. Where this packet was rejected, some of the authentication, it came in as wireless. This is for NAS port type. And it matched out uh, WLAN.1x for authentication, but it did not match any one of our authorization rule. And if you look at the step, scroll down to the bottom here, you see a little red error message that said ACS has not confirm a previous successful machine authentication. That's because we just jump right into the user authentication. Okay, so now what we need to do is to lock off and kind of force the machine authentication and hopefully that will do the trick. So let's go back and reload. You can see right here, we have a success, successful machine authentication with the LMW Win7 test one, which is our computer name. And again, if you click into that, you have authentication succeeded, Stu Peep and MS Chat V2. Authentication result, you can see the radius attribute with the airspace ACL name is pushed down to the controller, just the name, not the whole ACL. And now we can see that we have a match on, on our authorization policy with uh, to be land machine. So now we switch on to the wise land controller and the client. You can see the host name or the username still shows up as the machine since we haven't really engaged on user authentication. And it's currently using the local ACL of lm-ad-lockin. Okay, so let's go ahead and lock in as a user admin one. And let's go back and check on now radius authentication lock. And here we have again a green successful this time user admin one. If you lock into that, you just do on peep with MS chat v2. And this time the airspace ACL name is changed to permit all. As far as authentication detail, we are now matching the authorization rule called the VLAN user. And that user has been identified to be part of wireless user. Okay, look under the step. You can see this time the ACS has confirmed previous successful machine authentication and that's why we can successfully lock in or the user can now access the wireless. Okay, if we just approve that, we bring up our browser, you can see we have access to Google. Okay, next we're going to try to test with our second test user, which is support one. That's not part of the wireless user group. So again, lock off. And then we're going to switch user to support one. Cisco. Okay, so while it's trying to lock in, let's see if we can find anything on ACS. You can see right here, support one came in with a fail authentication. Scroll to the right, it said authorization profile is deny access. And if we drill down into that, everything looks pretty much the same, except right here, the is being matched with the authorization rule of default. And if we look down further right here, and this is because the user is not part of the 
wireless user. That's why it did not match the rule that would allow it to access wireless. Let's lock out of this real quick. And then we're going to switch back to admin one. Now that we're done with PEEP authentication, we're next going to try EPTLS. So we need to do, since the MAC address of the wireless MAC address of this test machine has already been cached by the ACS. So what we need to do is stick it under the adapter setting for wireless property. And we're going to have to change that wireless MAC address. And you can see how easy it is to change your MAC address of your network adapter. So this time we're going to do all zero and two. And then by doing that, it's going to force a re-authentication. And now you can see the machine here is having trouble trying to get back onto wireless since we changed our MAC address and that MAC address is not recognized as the machine authenticated MAC address. And that's why our admin one user here failed. So we're going to now go ahead and change our wireless profile. So manage wireless network. Go into property. From P, we're going to change that to smart card or other certificate settings. Going to trust that root CA. And let's make sure we're still using user and computer authentication, which we do. And just to show you what kind of certificate is installed, you can see we failed again for the same reason as not being machine authenticated, but that's okay. So under personal certificate, under MMC here, we have an admin one certificate, which is a user certificate. And we also have a machine or computer certificate for our LM Win 7 test one. Okay, and those are, has been obtained through a GPO, but you can also do that manually. That's our certificate install. So now we're gonna lock off just to force the machine authentication using our new MAC address. We're not gonna lock in quite yet. And again, we're gonna check if we, whether or not we get successful machine authentication. So it looks like it's not trying to authenticate now. So what we might need to do is to restart the test computer. So let's go ahead and do that, restart. I was just gonna to have to wait for that to come back. Okay, now our test machine is booted back up. So if you look at our ACS lock here, we now have a successful machine authentication that just came in with our new MAC address with our zero and two. And the authentication method has now changed to X509 PKI. So if we uh, look at the detail, obviously the authentication method has changed. Authentication result, the name ACL has been passed on to the controller. EAP authentication method is EAP TLS. The host name is LMWin7 test one, which is our machine name, and is being matched by the authorization rule the VLAN machine. Okay, same thing if you check on the Wise9 controller, you can see the new MAC address and the ACL name is LMAD login. So at this point we go ahead and lock in with admin one. You can go back to ACS and monitor the activity here. And we do also have a successful user authentication. You can see the MAC address remains the same. And this is how the MAC access restriction correlates to two MAC address and said this one is machine auth, this one is user auth. And obviously admin one is now authentication using the certificate X509 PKI name ACL is now become permit all. EAP TLS and the VLAN user. To verify, we know that it's working, so it has to be a previous successful machine authentication also. So now you bring up your browser. We should also have full access to our wireless network. So comparing the wire and wireless 802.1x authentication, you can see the process stays pretty much the same. Configuration on the ACS also is almost identical. The only difference is we're dealing with name ACL for the WASLAN controller instead of the downloadable ACL if it was the uh, switches. So that wraps up our video on ACS 5.4 Wireless 802.1x PEEP EPTLS with machine authentication. 
You can visit our website to view an extensive list of our lab videos and sign up to get access to additional lab contents. Thank you for watching LabMinutes.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.